Hi, my name is James Laughlin. I'm coming to you from the floor of WEF Tech 2008 in Chicago. I'm talking with David Drang at Mass Transfer Systems, also known as MTS. And we're going to talk today about um, the aeration systems that you have on display here at the show. David? Sounds great. Um, this right here is our multi-aspirator. It's a uh, self-aspirating uh, submersible aerator. It uh, doesn't require any um, any blowers to introduce air into the wastewater. It uh, does not require any extensive uh, installation requirements. And uh, uh, what, what kind of applications would this be used in typically? I mean. We're finding a lot of application these days in it in um, stormwater runoff basins where uh, they, ha they get a large flow during during a, a rainstorm, a rain event, they'll collect the combined sewerage, stormwater in a big basin. They need to keep it aerated uh, <laughs> till the wastewater treatment plant can catch up. So they have a number of these things in a large basin. They just pump air into the water, um, keeps it aerobic from, to keep it from uh, smelling, basically. Um, so I understand, David, that this is one of your uh, smaller units. Um, can you tell me about the uh, construction of it? Yeah. We do um, all stainless steel construction uh, for piping, uh, internals, and, and hardware. Um, we use a submersible motor, epoxy coated. And what we do differently from everybody else is we have these channels here that are, are formed by, they're sandwiched between two type 304 stainless steel plates. This is an acrylic plate for the show. Right. And these wedges are made out of ultra high molecular weight polyethylene, which we have found are much more abrasion resistant than the hardened steels that uh, some, of the, some of our competitors use. So, so this is one of the smaller units. Um, tell me about flow. This is just a little demo unit. We don't sell one this small. But starting up. And the way it works is, depending on the size of the unit, we have an air pipe that goes above the liquid level. The, down at the motor end, there's an impeller that spins, draws a vacuum, and it draws ambient air down where it mixes with the, jet, the, the liquid flow from the impeller, shears the air in the fine bubbles, and disperses it out into the tank. Um, we can handle tanks anywhere from uh, 16 feet up to 117 feet with a single unit. We can do multiple units in much larger tanks. Um, uh, how about oxygen transfer rate? Transfer rates, the smallest unit will do two to the largest unit will do up to 200 pounds per hour of oxygen transfer. And typical applications, would you say? Typical, typical applications for this product would find themselves in equalization tanks, um, aerobic digesters, um, sludge holding, uh, again, stormwater runoff basins. Um, it, it finds most of its application right now, we're, we're finding a lot of application in stormwater runoff and in uh, equalization tanks. Um, we can handle, we, we, we advertise up to 6% solids handling capability. We'll pretty much be able to put it into anything 2 to 4% without too much question. Anything over 4%, we like to really evaluate the application to make sure we're not setting ourselves up for a, for a, a bad installation. Okay, well great. Thank David, thank you for the information. Thank you.